see you later on this evening, yeah? Okay, all right. Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? <laughs> How are we? My name is Fumi Desalovold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you're so very welcome indeed, my darlings. Are we living and loving for the makeup? It is Juvia's place and it is colored rain. Are we living and loving for the dress? My darlings, this is by H&M. Yup, yup, yup. And I bought this ages ago. It had to be like a size 18. Yeah. And what I did was that I took it to my alterations guy. And he turned it into a fabulous size 4 for me. The sandals. Oh my God. These are cheapies. I can't remember where I got them. But I thought, you know what? They match the dress. Spring, summerish. You know, light, light. Shiga bang, bang, bang. And here we are. Yes, baby. As you very well know, we're having a meet and greet. <laughs> we're having a meet and greet, my darlings, on the 21st of what? On the 21st of April, darlings. Yes, in a matter of two weeks and days counting. Before I even continue, you always ask me, for me, where are the tickets? Darlings, they are below this video. Below what? Below this video, I'll put a screenshot and you will see like flowers, you'll see meet and greet. You click in there and you can buy the tickets. If you miss that, you can click into the comment section because I will pin it. I will pin it for you to buy your tickets. It is also on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. You will see it there to the point that I put it all across on my Instagram so that you cannot miss it darling it is there for you so for those of you that are asking where are the tickets the tickets are below every single video up until the 21st and I will also pin it in the comment section I also have it in the community section because that's where you and I yin yang I post pictures there I post quotes there I update on pop culture I put pictures there I put everything up there updates it's in the community page of the day you're going to love it at the Novotel Hotel Central London darlings it's one of the most exquisite hotels and it is very 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 central healthy hair studio is going to be there baby <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fabulous Juvia's place the brand that I got the opportunity to collab with twice not once but twice they are going to be there then we have wardrobe of beauty I know you live and love the brows when I tell you it was wardrobe of beauty they are going to be out there baby yes they are we are also going to have colored rain colored rain have been known for their lips from way back they've been like the OG of the OG they said you know what when I'm where baby I support they are coming out here and they're treating you guys no end we have a couple of doctors in the house and i am so honored because we're talking about fertility we're talking about menopause we're talking about health and wellness i'm in my 50s and when i tell you i really am about my mental health physical health spiritual health that's why i want to introduce all of that to you we also have the laser premier skin clinic they do all of my laser baby yes they do they keep anti looking fabulous they're coming out here to sponsor we also have willing health i did an episode about colonic cleanse they are coming out also and they're going to speak to you I, I saw the comment section a lot of you were saying fumi oh my god i would love to speak to her well you are going to get to speak to her and then we have never knowingly boring she's coming with some fabulous hats my darling she is fabulous 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 use my discount code fumi because you know what spring is here we're going to have summer it's going to be fabulous on top of all of that 
you're going to sit down babies yes because you're my girls i switched it up at the last minute i said you know what no 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 no. i don't want chairs and goodie bag give me buffet give me tables let the ladies come in let them have tables let them have their goodie bags on every table and let them eat and let them have cake and let them enjoy themselves with music and dancing and we're going to have a q and a yes hunty and we're also having giveaways on top of all of that when i tell you it is beyond and fabulous get your tickets my darlings get your tickets because you see once i hit capacity i hit capacity <laughs> i did my best this time around i did my best for you all it's a lot of money but i don't mind i want you guys to really have fun once i hit capacity there is nothing i can do because i have set every table every table everything is put in place for you guys i cannot overextend so if you don't get your tickets because i don't know what i can say all righty moving along darlings we now have what we now have the opportunity of working out together every day i go live every day for me what are you talking about well one of you said you know what for me why don't you go live when you work out i said you know what that's an idea <laughs> hello my darlings how are you where am i i'm at Hi. pret yes and i met a femination sister I live for her already she was telling me Catherine. she said that for me why don't you get your YouTube members, Instagram members, because I have memberships on both platforms, and we work out together in the morning. Do you want to do that with me? Because I know you were like, for me, your arms, your this, your that, because I'm a beast. I work out every single day, and then I film episodes for you on the channel. But I was thinking, maybe you want to work out with me, because I do different things, and I live and I love my weights. The weights, 30 days, you will see a difference. Let me know whether you're prepared to pay. Uh, Catherine, how much should they pay? <laughs> I didn't think about it. I really did not. Because she saw me in my slinky dinky. She was like, for me, you're hot. <laughs> I'll walk out with you in the morning. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Bye. Let me it was one of you, uh, Catherine. Hi, Catherine. And she said, let them have their membership, the little membership. They'll join. When you go onto my channel, you will see join. When you go to join, you will see Fumi's Fitness, Fumi Daily Fitness. I think it's like $12.99 or something. I told them to keep it under 15 pounds. You understand me? You join there. And what do I do? We go live. I go live only to members. So when I upload, I don't upload to the public. I only upload to you members. So it's only you guys that can see me wait for the punchline once we finish the exercise i will leave it up there for those of you that have missed it for those of you that are at work for those of you that can't make it you will have a workout every single day by me and it will be up there forever it will be our little thing because the other day i went live and i think it was like maybe three four hundred of us members fabulous we were laughing we were kicking it back and i will teach you everything because you keep on talking about my shoulders i will show you what i do with the weights i live for weights that's all that i do so join the membership and we will kick it i'm just waiting for all of you guys to come in i made it only yesterday i made it only yesterday because i've been so busy i've got other stuff but for me i need to work out because it clears my head at this point i just need to work out so i work out every day I work out on the treadmill i lift weights i show you what i'm eating we kick it back home more often than not i'm on live for about an hour so it doesn't matter the time no matter what you will always see a video there that i've already recorded i live in london there are so many different time zones all over the world that it would be impossible for all of us to meet up at a set time but i'm telling you now that i will work out 10 in the morning for those of you that are in london in the uk i'll be here 10 in the morning we'll be working out i can also work out 6 p.m in the evening for me so guys i will see you at memberships only fumi's daily fitness i am really loving this exclusive club for us and i will expand it where when i'm going out for dinner when i'm going for red carpet events when i'm going for all kinds of stuff i'll just go live members only so that you can have all of the backdrop yes members only with my brand i'm just going to make it exclusive for only my members all of you 
will be exclusive to my life. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. It's enough. This came across my desk and I was quite amused. I really was amused. There was just no other way to put it. Prince William and Kate asked Harry and Meghan to bring their children. This is the mirror. To visit claims expert. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are not close with the royal family, but that hasn't stopped the Prince and Princess of Wales from trying to end the feud according to the royal expert. Prince William and Prince Kate are trying their best to end their feud with Prince Harry and Meghan according to one royal expert. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have a strange relationship with the royal family and they are currently estranged from the Prince and Princess of Wales. However, royal author Tom Quinn has claimed William and Kate have tried to fix this. Speaking exclusively to the Mirror, he claims the couple have reached out to Meghan and Harry and urged them to bring their children, Prince Archie and Prince Lilibet, to the UK to visit. However, it is believed Meghan has put her foot down and refused. I find this very strange. I find it really, really, really strange. And let me say this. For everything that Meghan has claimed she went through, not that she went through, but what she claimed she has gone through. Because I want to keep it really neutral here for one minute. Why would you think that Megan, after all that she has claimed she went through, bring her children to a place that brought her so much sorrow? You see, for Megan, I really can see it. She stood in front of Harry and said, Harry, listen. I know what crazy looks like. I have crazy in my family. And I've lived with this some way, somehow, in a copacetic situation. I got a sister over there, crazy. <laughs> I got a half brother. You saw how they behaved at my wedding. You saw that my father couldn't even make it to the wedding. You saw how my father sold me out, sold us out to the press. I know what crazy looks like. So I don't have to deal with another crazy batch. Let me go about my business. Let me go to my mama in California. Let me do my thing. Let me open up all of these businesses. I got family and I got friends that love me. And I say it on this channel too. It does not matter who you are. You have to go where you are loved. I do not blame Megan if she never, ever, comes to this country again, just on the behest of Piers Morgan. Just on the behest of what Piers Morgan sees. <laughs> I couldn't see her come here. Do you know the funny thing? <laughs> if Megan was just to walk in where Piers was, I think that Piers would stop breathing and just fall down right there on the floor and just gasp, the last breath. If Megan so much, so much, has grazed her fingers through the few strands on his head, he would take the entire royal family to the gallows and say, you know what, y'all gotta go. Because like I said, I know it's love. I know that it's love. I find it very, very interesting with everything that has been said and done about these four. One thing that sticks out to me. If the Prince and Princess of Wales wanted to make amends, I find it very strange that they never told Harry and Meghan of what Kate was going through. As we very well know, they found out like everybody else. That does not sound to me like a couple who want to make amends. That does not sound like a couple who is trying to say, okay, you know what, guys, let's see what we can do. Because let's be honest, between me and you, every family has family feuds. Every family has family feuds, an uncle, an auntie, a cousin, a this, a that. Keep all the outside noise out of it. They got to work it out between themselves. It's not about me. It's not about the papers. It's not about anybody. Is between them. That's family. That has to come both ways. Why is it that 
Kate and William didn't say, you know what, let's go to California and see Harry and Meghan. Let's take the children with us. Why is it that it's always Harry that has to come? Why is it that it's always Meghan that has to come? And you forget that Meghan is American. This is my publicist, Corinne. She's fabulous. Hello, my darling. How are you, sunshine? Mama is filming. Hi. Say hello to Fumination. Hello, Fumination. <laughs> hello, my baby. What's up? Good news? Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, I'll put you forward for some publication you're going to be excited about so oh i love that oh yes please yes 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 i'm very excited thank you my darling <laughs> all right sunshine i love bye. you bye baby bye she's wonderful she's french so she has this accent you know so she's teaching me french of which i should have learned years ago so what i'm trying to say is that it cannot be a one-sided william go take a break kate take a break go leave all of this leave all of us and go and go and see your sister-in-law go and see your brother maybe in a different place in a different setting and then think about it because it's always like that when you look at everything it's not even that serious it's not even that serious because there are apologies that are to be made on both sides. Kate, Megan, William, Harry, on both sides, there's apologies to be made. You're now telling them that they should bring their family here. When you know how much, how much Megan gets the heat. I think it was the best thing. We didn't see it, but Harry and Meghan knew what they were doing, that they were not here, that they've not been here through all of this saga. Meghan is going about her own life. She's American. She's not British. Her mother is there. Her friends are there. Her life is there. Her children are there. She can go about and do whatever she wants. Why? Why would anybody, just think about it, forget Meghan for a minute. Why would anybody want to give up that life to come here to deal with Piers Morgan and the like, and newspapers every day. Meghan was lucky. Meghan had somewhere to run when Princess Diana had nowhere to go. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I salute the former monarch. How much she held this family together. It's unbelievable because it's all fraying at the seams. God bless all of you all. God bless you because it's got to be tough. I understand what all of you might be going through. But tally me. Because <laughs> Never. Myself. I will not step foot there. Not be say I go bring my picking. Me self self. I no go come there. Wait till I find there. Or call me. He's with me. My husband, they with me. Which one be my business? Even if people hear them, they could talk, say, hello, fofo, I'm a boy. You want to go and look when it's none of your business. What's your business there? Go and sit down. Lord Joko. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, I'm Yoruba. I'm giddy. <laughs> I'm on my job, babes. What's my business? What is my business? Absolutely not. Don't go, and I feel it's because of all of this havoc that they're trying to grasp at, at straws. I'm older. I'm in my 50s now, really. Next week, week after, I'll be 55. I've seen one or two things, and I've learned humility. And I have learned that for me, sometimes, try to water cooler the situation. And I try very hard to make a friend before I try to make an enemy. Because you see this father that we have up above, he is the engineer of us all. I don't know what can be tomorrow. And I don't want it to fall on my man or on my son. I'm surrounded by men, my father, my brother, my son, my husband. I'm surrounded by them. And I always think to myself, how does it affect them? Not necessarily me. I'm hot. I'm an Aries. I'm a fire sign. But for me, you've got to calm down. Because once everything has blown over, what's the after effect? Well, this is the after effect. Because when Megan was here, she was looked upon like you can talk to her like she's nobody. I felt that. That you can treat this girl any kind of way. That you can say anything. You can do anything. And this girl was riding up the wall look at all of the the support and justified the princess of wales is through a very difficult time i have to constantly bring it up because it's glaringly obvious of the bias megan was here 
This child don't know nobody. She came out here from California. She loved this guy. What's the crime? Why could we not have extended an olive branch to this girl and helped her? Say, Max, come, baby. <coughs> we don't do this around here. <laughs> come on, too. Let me help you, baby. Let me help you. Come on, too. Come on, too. You're pregnant? Okay, you know what? Let me come and bring you one or two things in here. Where are you at, Max? The firm got you up there. <laughs> Why are you home alone? Let me come and see you. Let, let me come and show you how to make rhubarb pie. I cry because that was what my father-in-law did for me. He said, for me, come. Let me show you how to make rhubarb pie. I was in Norway. I didn't have any friends. I didn't speak the language. I didn't write the language. I could not read the language. I will never forget. There was one day I was so frustrated because I was trying to get money from the cash machine and I had to ask somebody if they could remove the money for me. Ula was at work, so sometimes I'll just go into the city. And I was 40 and I had left California. I had married the love of my life. But I was in Norway, I didn't know anybody. And sometimes it was very lonely. Then, on top of all of that, I would have dealt with what Megan dealt with. <laughs> Never. I have my father, I have my mother. <laughs> Our people, who, uh, no, 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 no. I didn't come here by myself. Go and ask of Desalu. Go ask of Desalu in Ijebu. Ask of Desalu in Ondo State. Maybe not here, but in Africa. Oh, yeah, we're relevant. I would have been gone. I would have been gone. I know what it is to be an immigrant. I know what it is to marry another countryman. I know what it is to leave your country, to go to another country. I know what it is to start from scratch. That is why I speak the way that I speak. And I hold it ten toes deep. If you leave your home and you leave everything you know, you're a beast. You are a different kind of king, a different kind of queen. And succeed, you're a beast. And I did it. And I never went back to California. I came out here and I did my thing. And I grew this channel to what it is. And I went back to school to learn Norwegian. Every day I would sit down for four hours. I did it for the love of a man. And then you turn around and treat me like that. It's not possible. Do not forget to like, to subscribe, hit the notification button. And I'll see you what? I'll see you sooner than later. All of my love. <laughs>